and we're going into the doodle we're going into the doodle land okay this is a two-in-one doodle one side is for drawing the other side is finger painting my son has already used this it comes with three markers okay the only thing about it is that it doesn't come with something to clean the screen off. So you, you will kind of like with the chalkboard, you will have to get a wet paper towel and a dry paper towel and kind of clean it off yourself. But very simple. This is the finger painting side. So very cool, right? If you want to give your child, you know, something to do with paint and not be all over the place. And then this is the marker side. Comes with a, a panel where you can stick all three markers, red, yellow, and blue. And my son really likes it. He plays with this all the time. It's just another way of keeping them, the children entertained. Very easy to clean, very easy to store. Markers don't have any scent. They're scentless, so you don't have to worry about any of the fumes that come from the markers. Um, just a very simple, easy way of entertaining the kids if you just need something else to get them away of screen time. At this age, I think we're all in agreement that we're trying to get the kids away from the screen time. So this is a good way of doing that. Okie dokie. So now we are going to get into some of my favorite new items that I got item learning how to write. So I, this is my second time getting one of these books for my son. The first one was more, it was like learning different shapes. So this company makes different types of books and I'll just show you for example. So inside you will see that it has like different letters and different exercises for them. So this is tooth, tent and tiger, and it really works on their uppercase. So this side is uppercase, this side is lowercase. And it really teaches them the basics of learning how to write. I don't know about y'all, but I have heard that sometimes as they're starting to matriculate now into higher grades, some things the teachers are just not teaching. It's kind of like because most kids nowadays are going to preschool, a lot of the daycares or like early childhood education places are teaching children the basics of like writing and reading. So it's kind of like a lost art if you're waiting until your child gets to kindergarten or first grade to teach them some of this stuff. So this is an easy way to help supplement what your child may or may not be learning in the classroom. So this is just to really get them to learn how to write. It has different activities in here. I really like it. This is my second, one, second time getting this type of book. So if you have a preschooler, this is something I would focus on trying to make sure that you would get for them to help supplement. Like I said, in some, some cases, the teachers are not teaching them everything. There's kind of like this expected, they should know how to do certain stuff. And this is one of the ways that you can at least give your child a head start to know some of the basic fundamentals of learning how to write. Hello, new people that are coming into the live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please make sure you click unmute so that you can hear me and let me know where you are joining from in the comments. I want this to be very interactive, very laid back. So let me know where you're coming from, like where you're watching. And this is 35% off as well. These are very affordable and you can get a bunch of these. They come in different styles. Like I said, this is the learning how to write. They have shapes, they have colors. So this company in general just has a lot of different versions of these books. It's 35% off. It's really, it, it's literally like not even six bucks. And of course with Amazon Prime, everything ships like next day. So you can definitely get this tonight and then have it for your kids before the end of the weekend if that's something that you are interested in doing. Same thing with learning how to cut. So this is a new type of book that I got. 
I noticed that now that my son is leading into higher grades, again, there's an the expectation that your child knows how to use certain tools. And so cutting is actually one of the things that teachers are expecting their kids to kind of know how to do. So it's the same premise as the writing book, different activities to get them to cut, different shapes. So this is a hexagon. So it's really showing them how to cut along the line. And of course they can color in before they cut it out. This is from the Lucas and Friends. They do have different companies, I mean, different characters. So if you didn't wanna do like Lucas and Friends, they have other cartoons that you can do. And of course, Lucas and Friends is one of those apps, like learning apps, and they have like this huge platform for teaching kids of grade age, the preschool fundamentals. So again, if your child is a preschool, just before they hit kindergarten, cutting is one of those things where a lot of teachers are expecting them to kind of have those fine motor skills under control. So this is another good activity that you can kind of do at home with your kid to get them to kind of learn the fundamentals of how to cut. And it's like you kind of take advantage of the things that you know you know how to do and then you realize like when you have to teach your child like a lot of the stuff you're really learning from scratch